Have you been around for a while? Vice captain, is it leadership something that you've been going? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, actually didn't even realise we were vice captains. I thought, like, <laughs> I thought we were just uh, in the leadership group. But um, yeah, I think with both myself and Beamsy coming in, just um, yeah, just there to help out. And um, I think for us to have that experience and not be involved, um, yeah, it wasn't quite right. So um, yeah, it's good to be a part of it and. Um, yeah, and we're, we're looking to uh, improve. You've always had a big voice there at the back anyway, haven't you? Yeah, so nothing really changes a hell of a lot. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll still do my thing down back. Um, even more so uh, this this year where um, not a lot of experience down there. So, um, But I'm, I'm excited by those young guys down there. They've, they've got a lot of talent and um, yeah, I'm just there to mentor them and uh, turn them into great players. Does having a tag like BC put more pressure on you at all? Nah, definitely not. I'd, yeah, like I was saying, I didn't even realise that we're, uh, we're going to run with tags this year. So, um, nah, I think I'll, I'm just happy to be involved and, and have uh, have a bit more of a voice. Dave, what does this appointment mean to you, mate? Are, you know, still rel relatively new to the club, mate? Yeah, um, yeah, I'm relatively new, but I don't feel like I'm getting any younger. At the moment. I'm 26 in two weeks, so in terms of our group, that's pretty old. So. <laughs> Um, I guess I've been at a club that's had some success, um, I've experienced a premiership, um, I've had some good times, I've had some bad times, so I, I mean we've got a group now that are young and inexperienced, so hopefully I can just bring some of uh, my life experiences to the table and um, help these guys build something because um, I think they need some guidance, they're you know, still in their early years of their career and I know how hard it can be sometimes. So, um, yeah, just there to help them and, and sort of guide them and hopefully mentor them for, um, to some success in the future. Is that the reason for a six-man leadership group? It's a pretty big group, yeah? Yeah, it is, but I think each one of us brings different things to the table. Um, I mean, I'm not like I'm not a guy that goes out in the field and yells and screams and demands stuff like that, whereas Rocky might be. And, um, you know, Rog does things differently to the way, you know, Daniel Rich and Dane Zorko do things. So I think we bring... Um, different sort of qualities to the table and we can all complement each other really well so um, yeah hopefully the six six of us can uh, work well together this year and hopefully drive some more wins on the board for us. Dane you would have come here knowing that it was a pretty long sort of road to rebuilding and recovery if that's the right word but where do you think the club's at at the moment is it about where you thought it might be after one year for you? Yeah well I, I came here pretty open-minded I didn't have any sort of expectations and to be honest I wasn't really thinking I looked at the list and I thought that, um, you know, it was going to take a little bit of time. We had some young guys and some, there's some still some quality young players down in the room. So, um, I mean, the most important for us thing for us is um, that we have everyone buy into everything that we're, we're trying to do, um, because it only takes one or two that you know may think it, that it's just crap and it's not worth it, and it just forces the whole thing to break down. So, uh, what we're trying to do at the moment is. Um, be able to all be on the same page, knowing what we're, which we're trying to get out of the year, the year ahead. And um, I guess um, for us guys, it's um, being able to drive that and set set the standards um, so that we can get to where we want to, you know, sort of be. Does it feel like you have that complete buy-in, or is it a bit hard to tell until you pl play some games? No, I've definitely seen a shift. I, I mean, I haven't done a whole lot of work with the boys out in the ground so far this year, but I've definitely seen a shift in their attitude towards. Um, just, just everything, you know, the physio times, the massage, just all the things that, you know, you guys probably don't see um, inside the club. So definitely seen more buy-in from all the boys. There's a lot more guys speaking up in meetings, um, wanting to have a say, wanting to have an input and wanting to help us, you know, be better. So um, all the signs at the moment are positive, but I guess the real stuff will start. You start to see hopefully some results in, I think it's three or four weeks' time when we start playing NAB Cup and, and then get into the proper season in about eight weeks' time. So... Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely been um, a better pre-season than what it was last year, I feel. How's your rehab going? Yeah, it's been slow. Um, you know, obviously I had a pretty bunged up shoulder at the end of last year, so um, it was a bit of, it was a fair reconstruction of my shoulder, so um, just been a bit cautious and stuff with it at the moment, but you know, all things tracking well, hopefully right for round one. So where are you up to at the moment? What are you able to do? Sort of tick off. I'm just trying to get my strength and stuff back into my shoulder. So I've been, yeah, a lot of activation stuff, um, weights, just all the little things, ticking boxes to 
hopefully just you know I can sort of tick little things along the way I'm sort of moving into a bit more contact stuff now so once I'm sort of um, fully into that then that's when I can sort of enter the main group and start training again but um, that'll probably be a few weeks off yet. You've got confidence in it that it's going to come back to 100%? Yeah, I do. It feels stronger. I mean, like I feel stronger in the in the gym and stuff. So, um, yeah, and all the contact stuff I've done to date has been, you know, pretty good. So, um, yeah, any of these sort of things you got to manage and you got to be pretty diligent with them. So, um, I've certainly been um, on top of it the last two three months. So, yeah, all things tracking well. Dan, was it good to see Rocky retain the? Captain Simo? Yeah, I, I don't think there's anyone else for the job. So I think um, yeah, it was a tough first year for him last year um, with results not going away and, and him being injured as well. So I think he's come out of it, um, yeah, a definitely better captain. And um, hopefully, yeah, we can support him through this year and, uh, and have a good year.